good evening everybody and uh, welcome to the video if you are wondering on how to install elasticsearch on your windows machine and if you're trying to configure username and password for elasticsearch version 8 which was uh, which is the new version of elasticsearch this video i'll be talking about how to install that how to configure your um, username and password uh, so i'll be walking you over the steps uh, by the way, the reason I decided <laughs> I have been seeing a lot of uh, posts on Stack Overflow and Elastic Blog. People have a hard time with the new Elasticsearch 8, uh, essentially with username and password. I had uh, my I had some issue as well, so which is why I decided to make the video, right? So the first step that you want to do in order to install Elasticsearch 8 is you want to, uh, and of, of course, this is the installation for Windows. So you want to type uh, Elasticsearch download and uh, you want to go to the official website uh, usually the first link should be fine um, now once you're on the link come down and uh, there should be oh i should have said download uh, yeah this one so i'll come to this uh, website and uh, here select windows and i'm gonna click on download i've already done that and once i have downloaded the the, the zip file i have extracted the zip file in my hard disk uh, or my external hard disk essentially. So I go to my E drive, software, uh, Elasticsearch, and here it is. So now, a couple of things we need to understand here, right? So in the bin file, you'll have a bat file that is essentially gonna run the Elasticsearch server. In the config file, uh, we'll have all the configuration related to the Elasticsearch. So in order to understand this, uh, uh, in order to essentially get this done, what we need to do is we need to understand different essentially YML files that are available. So the first file that is available is elasticsearch.yml. Uh, so by default, uh, there will be some code written. Uh, make sure you set this to true, xpack.security.enable. We're gonna turn that to true. xpack security enrollment enabled, we'll set that to true. And uh, purposely I've set this to false. Uh, this was set to true before. And also xpack security transport SSL, I have set this to false as well. Rest everything can stay as default as needed, okay? So make those changes in your YML file. Now, if you have installed a fresh Elasticsearch, uh, basically your roles.yml would be empty. Now, what I want you to guys to do is I wanna copy, I want you guys to copy this particular role, which is provided in the description section below. So here we are saying that we are defining a role called admin, basically who will have all access to the, essentially the cluster, they can do delete, they are the admins, right? Then we have something called dev. Dev can write, delete, and create index. So I'm essentially creating a role called dev, right? Now, in order to create credentials for Elasticsearch, when you start your uh, Elasticsearch, that is Elasticsearch.bat file, which is usually in your bin folder. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna copy this. Um, you wanna copy this and first of all, I'll turn this off, okay? So let me turn this off. And first of all, we wanna set up an environment variable. So I'll go to uh, environment variable. I would be going to something called path. I'll click on edit. And then uh, here I'll simply dump the path to the bin file. Now, once you do that, and now if you open up uh, command prompt, and uh, now if you try the word Elasticsearch, uh, this should start up your uh, Elasticsearch web server or essentially your Elasticsearch cluster, sorry. <laughs> uh, so this might take a while, so we'll be a little bit patient. And then once this is done, I'll show you how to uh, how to configure your username and password, right? So let's wait. Usually it takes time for the first time uh, because, you know, uh, uh, yeah, it's, for the first time, it, it's a bit slow. So we'll wait here. Okay. All right, so now it is starting. Okay. Now, um, one thing I wanna show you is now when I, I I'm, trying my, I'm trying to open an incognito, and if I go to port 9200, uh, I should see a username and password field popping up. Uh, so it should not allow me to, uh, it's still starting though. So we'll still wait. Total space 931. I have a one terabyte EX fat, right? So uh, I'm essentially doing it on my external hard, hard drive, right? So I have a one terabyte of hard, uh, hard drive, sorry, external hard drive, right? 
and that's where my elastic search is right so now it's still starting we're gonna wait okay let's try now i think it's still starting though but uh yeah using discovery time okay it's still starting yeah now it should be started and uh, we'll try to go to and, and as you can see you will see a username password now to generate that uh, these are the steps right so here uh, the first step you can say is elastic search user then uh, user add you can type the name username and the password and uh, the role that you want the user to have uh, if you want if you want want them to have admins you could do that right so what i'll do is i'll copy paste this just to uh, sort of illustrate you guys right so so i'll remove this one and then here i will be adding a user call sawmill and my password will be sawmill okay and uh, if you want to provide roles you could provide by using slash r so we'll just provide them network and monitoring one so i'll open up a new command prompt and uh, remember I, I am in the directory right so i'll type this command uh, hopefully you guys can see i know it's a little bit tiny but hopefully i'll, I'll put the commands in so now if you put the commands uh, this should generate a user uh, with the name saumil and the password uh, saumil so that's done now if you come back um, to your config file uh, if you go to your users uh, and if you open that in notepad you should see a new user called sawmill the password the password should be salted or hashed right which is exactly what i expected uh, user.roll. Um, if you open that file uh, you should see uh, you, you should see that the uh, you know this particular network uh, jack niche and sawmill both has right so but i'm i'm also going to give sawmill an admin access again i'm just giving it an admin access for now okay so now that's done now what I will do is I'll try to log in. There you go, and it works fine, right? Uh, and this tutorial will be useful because a lot of people have been posting on Stack Overflow regarding, hey, what is the default username password? And I'm pretty sure people are trying to figure, in, uh, figure things out. And this video would serve as a guidance on how uh, to do, uh, how to install Elasticsearch on a Windows machine and set up username, password, and roles. Thank you so much for watching all the file that is essentially i'll leave two files in the description that is my elasticsearch.yml and uh, roles.yml file rest everything should be uh, pretty straightforward i'll also leave the links for the setting up username and password in the description so kindly check that out and if you have any more question this is your question and i'll be very happy to help you out thank you so much for watching keep smiling keep programming see you guys